This movie tells a story about Golda, a former Israeli prime minister who had to deal with high-stakes responsibilities and decisions during the Yom Kippur War. First of all, the main character here is played by Oscar-winning actress Helen Mirren. Despite under heavy layers of prosthetics, she does a good job in bringing to life the selected parts of the character. Her mannerisms and dialect are spot on. Unfortunately, the script does her no favors as the character is rather subdued. The movie really lacks context to the history behind the 1973 armed conflict. It leaves the audience feeling as if they are dropped into this conflict with little prior historical data. The setup is sloppy, especially to those unfamiliar with the Israel versus Arab conflict. It becomes one of the movie's biggest problem as the biggest issue of Israel state back then, even until now, is the fact that it's actually colonizing the Palestine territory. Especially when we're talking about Golda, who's very famous with her particular statement when she said there was no such thing as Palestinians. That Golda statement is considered to be the most famous example of Israeli denial of Palestinian identity. The movie intentionally glosses it over and rather choose the typical Israeli perspective that sways away from getting into her political views in order to portray her as an icon who saved her country. There is no such mention of Palestinians or anything of the like in the movie as it only focuses on the high-stakes military actions of defending Israel. As a war movie, this movie is really dull as there are no battle scenes or outside events to detract from the confines of the war rooms. It's full of wooden dialogue scenes with her military top brass. Most of the battling is done off screen with the action relayed through radio comms and documentary footage. The script fails to deliver the intensity and dread experienced by this group of leaders during the time of the conflict. This movie fails as a biopic as well as it's refusing to explore how Golda rose to power and how she kept at it. It's obvious she's the only woman of power in the room when she's with her military advisors, but the movie doesn't care to show us how did she get there and what do these men really think of her. The character is made one-dimensional and feels superficial by the film's lack of interest in portraying her as a complete human being. Overall, this movie is such a disappointment. We do not recommend this movie at all.